Hello guys and welcome to TGM the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Mother. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we left Magic Hand after fighting the... Was his name Cave Master or something like that? I don't know. We fought alongside the Flying Man and... The Flying Man died, but the good news is we made it over here to Thanksgiving. That's the name of this town here. And I forget if there's a... No, the Sandlot Bat isn't better than the Boomerang. I do have the Boomerang equi equipped, right? Yeah. So, now that that's all good, we're gonna go ahead and move south to the Thanksgiving Elementary School here. Forget if there's a sign out front, there's not. But we want to head over here, and you there are three doors here. This third one here, someone's in here. Wait, this isn't a bathroom. I have my hands full at the moment, come back later. So someone's in there, and another point of interest is if we move up these stairs, there's another set of, set, of set of stairs at the end of the hallway, and if we go here, there's a big lock on the, on the door at the top of the stairs. So to go ahead and unlock that door, we're gonna head back down to that door right there. We walk in, and we have a janitor in here. Wait. So this is just, this isn't a school, right? Why is there a bed in here? Do the teachers sleep here? Anyways, oh, the door to the roof is locked? Yeah, it's no big deal. The real problem is, okay, so this conversation, remember this was all written in 1988, so some of this dialogue doesn't age that well. So, we'll just go ahead and read this. She sleeps until noon every day and she never packs me a lunch. Isn't that just terrible? We'll just agree with him and go along with what he's saying. All she does is... Isn't she... You know what? No. She was pretty when she was young. Yeah, come to think of it, she has her good points too. Say, how about some tea? Sure. You're a pretty smart kid. Oh, that's right. You want to go up to the roof. Alright then, follow me. So yeah, some of the text in this game doesn't age well. Fun little fact, when you're walking with the janitor here, in the NES version, if you hold down the run button, then uh, the janitor and you like, zoom along. Because, remember, the NES version, it had the thing where it didn't, like, make Nintendo run. It just sped up the game, but they fixed that in the GBA version. My wife was the very first Miss Middle of Nowhere. Okay, I unlocked the door. The view from the roof is really nice, by the way. And, yeah, he's correct. We're gonna forget about that sentient trash can for a little bit. Look at this! Jesus Christmas! Like, those are four-story buildings. We are rivaling the mountains off in the distance, and this is an elementary school. That looks like... I think that's a volcano in the background. We are around the same height as that volcano in the background. Anyways, the sentient trash can. Who's there? I'm not coming out. You're just gonna pick on me if I do, so someone's inside the trash can. You wanna be my friend? Then do you promise not to tell that I took explosives from the science lab? Eh, sure. I'm coming out now. This is Lloyd. I'm Lloyd. I heard they make bottle rockets at the sweet little factory south of here. I want to launch some really bad. So to become his friends, we're going to go ahead and want to head south real quick. And if we do that, then we can become his friend if we get the bottle rockets down there. And random encounters. We have the skunks. They're pretty easy enemies. And I missed. Thankfully, the enemies still only do one damage. And we've reached the Sweet Little Factory down here. I think that's what it's called. Sweet Little Factory, yeah. It's got some cool mu little music here. And we have the rat. Uh, the last time we saw this was in Nintendo's basement. So by now, they're pretty easy enemies to defeat. I say that a lot in this series. First time I said that was 
in it became a short I was like oh these enemies are pretty easy to defeat and then I got absolutely destroyed I didn't die but they did a lot of damage we come upon, upon this trash can here found bottle rocket and this is actually an infinite supply of bottle rockets so if you want to come back here a little bit later or you have a couple of open inventory slots then you can go ahead and do that and we leveled up on the way back. We leveled up to level 17, fight up by 3, speed 3, wisdom 3, strength 2, force 3, max HP 6, max PP 9. Okay, we just arrived back at the elementary school. Gotta travel all the way up here. So, how, how many floors is there between this here, the bottom floor, and this floor right here? Because you'd think this is the second floor. But the door leading up to the roof shows that it towers above mountains and other places in the city. Which, hold on, I don't even think that makes sense in terms of sprites over here. Let me just return real quick to the front. Yeah, outside it looks the same size as a normal building. So how is it towering above... How is it towering above mountains and skyscrapers? Is there some sort of box that teleports you thousands of feet in the air? Am I overthinking an NES game from 1989? Probably. Anyways, hi Lloyd. Bottle rockets. Wow! So this is a bottle rocket. I heard so much about them. I said that sentence kind of weird. I should be able to make more of these now. Come with me to the science lab. Let's go visit Duncan's factory later. I hear there's a really incredible rocket there. I bet people have been spreading rumors about how I'm a weakling stinkling or a stupid head. So yeah, he's bullied here at school. He's a huge nerd. According to official art, he has cool white hair though, so... I can use the fuel from your rocket, and then if I use it with this, pretty cool, huh? Ah! Oh crap, the teachers are gonna kill us when they find out. Uh... Away! So we're back at Magic Cat now, that leads very well into this part right here. I'm a swimming cat. Have you heard of a candy that gives courage and strength to weaklings? That boy in the glasses seems pretty weak. Even the people in Magic Ant are bullying Lloyd. But yeah, anyways, if we go ahead and look in here, uh, we can have Lloyd take the magic candy and his fight goes up by five. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video. We went ahead and got a new party member, we went to the sweet little factory, got the bottle rocket, not in that order, and this looks really funny, so I'm just gonna end the video off here. Thank you guys so much for watching, in the next episode, we're gonna go ahead and s see if we can grab anything else here in Magic Hunt that we missed before. We're gonna actually check out that fa the uh, fountain that we missed earlier, I almost said factory. We're gonna check out that fountain that we missed the last visit, because there's something important there that I want to show, but it would have been weird if I showed it earlier. And we're gonna leave the magic hand again. I'm doing a lot of explaining for an outro. This should be really quick. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye Also, the floor looks like the background of a transparent image in Photoshop.